In this morning's Health Watch, we continue our Early's Having a Baby series. Women aren't the only ones who live with the ups and downs of pregnancies. Our husbands have to deal with the hormonal changes and midnight cravings as well. Baby, 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 oh. the things I love about Norm is he's so intense with his kids and they like adore him to death. When he found out I was pregnant, he was like over the moon. Jim's a great dad because he's just a great guy. I couldn't ask for a better father for my children. Matt would be a great dad just because he's just such a little kid at heart. He loves toys, he loves playing with kids, he just loves being goofy. Seeing him with Max and as a dad and just think it's brought us closer more than anything. I would say overall our marriage has definitely gotten closer because we're really excited about having a baby. The date nights where it's just the two of us are not as often as I'd like, but you know, you make do. We still try to try to do stuff with each other, allowing time. You know, obviously I can't wear stilettos and do stuff like I used to do, even though I try. I can't say that he dotes on me or does anything crazy special. I, th I don't think I need it yet. He takes the cocoa butter every night and rubs my stomach with it because I don't want to get stretch marks. It's going to be interesting to see when the baby comes how he really interacts with him because he's going to be so small, but he's a great dad. Joining us right now, the moms and the dads, Jason and Amy, Matthew and Jessica, Jim and Julie, and Norman and April. Also here with us to discuss how pregnancy changes family dynamics is relationship expert Heidi Banks. Heidi, welcome back. Okay. Ladies, welcome back. So good to finally meet the husbands. <laughs> I feel like I know all of you already. <laughs> Let me start with you, Heidi, because this is a great time to bring you together because you're having a baby, but... I admit it, we're not quite ourselves and we're very busy dealing with all the changes to come. What is the biggest danger that pregnancy poses to a relationship? Well, that we think every morning when you wake up, you're gonna find the same person in bed because of the <laughs> hormones. <laughs> it's, it really is a time of great, great tension, as you all know. And it's also a time of great joy. So to focus on the joy rather than the tension and understand, don't take anything seriously, which I'm sure you've all experienced already, let it go. You just got to keep letting it go and moving forward, letting it go and moving it forward, which is great advice for when you become a parent. Yeah, <laughs> it's great advice, but it's easier said than done, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> how, how many of you are having zero issues, zero problems at all? Show of hands. <laughs> Oh, Norman. Norman, is that the politically correct answer yeah, or is that is. true? Yeah. It is. No, it's not true. <laughs> so, so what do you think has been the, the most difficult thing? How has pregnancy, because this is your first time with April, changed things for you guys? No, April, her pregnancy is, is, is going pretty well, but she had some issues. So I think that's, that's an extra tension because you want everything to be okay with the baby. Yeah. And I must say, she, she changed a lot, but... <laughs> You can handle it. You're doing a good job. She says you're doing a great job. We, you know, we've heard from all these moms that all their husbands are doing a great job. I want to hear from them about how they're doing. Jason, you are having a girl for the first time. You yes. already have a little boy. What's different this time? Are there any more worries because it's a girl this time? Uh, I guess yeah, I come from a family with mostly uh, men in our side. You know, I have three older brothers, so. Um, you know, just the differences to, between raising a boy and a girl. I roughhouse with my son and, you know, wrestle and play around. I, I don't know if I'll do the same with my daughter. So you worry to, about it? Yeah, just, you know, if I should be different with him uh, and her, you know, as opposed to how I act with him. So. All right, so the dads obviously have, have things that they're worried about, too. We have to try to maybe be mindful of that. Matthew, uh, you are a cancer survivor. Yes. You made it through your illness to witness the day that your twins... Uh, are on the way. Yes. And congratulations to Thank you. Thank you very much. What has this journey been like for you? Extra emotional because of what you've been through? Yeah, honestly, it's it's a bit of a miracle that um, I was fertile to be part of this process. We did in vitro, yeah. as everyone knows. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, going back to my concerns, you know, obviously it's, it's rough to see her you know, struggling with, with you know, the sw swelling of the feet and the back pain and everything like that. But she's a trooper. She's getting through it. And, we're, you know, we're, I'm, I'm as involved as I can be. She, when, when I've talked to uh, her before, she's mentioned she's a little bit concerned because you work with, with special needs kids, right, yes. Jessica? She's a little bit concerned about the twins and their health. Do you worry about that as well? I'm, 
we have different dogmas about that. I'm I'm a fan of it's not a problem till it's a problem. Mm, good, good, right? Yeah. I agree with that. All right, let's go up here. <laughs> let's talk to you because you are a second-time dad, and you can offer some advice to, to Matthew, who's a first-time dad. You were in the delivery the first time around. I was, yes. Yeah. What do you say to, to, to dads who haven't been there before? Oh, I'd say it's a, it's a life-changing experience, and anybody would even consider not doing it. I, I'd ask you to reconsider. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, 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 it blows you away. It's, it's the most enriching experience that I've ever had, and. You know, obviously, I'm looking forward to the second one and being there again. It's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. I mean, it's the one bit of advice I can give. Is you know, it's and luckily we had a great doctor. Yeah. She, uh, you know, she was great with us. She she explained to us everything that was going on every minute to minute as it progressed, and we just felt at ease. So the, we were able to enjoy the overall experience. And Jim, in that moment, isn't it true? At least for for me, it was as the woman going through it that all the hardships and all the little yeah. problems that you had during pregnancy went away in that oh. magic moment that that baby. Not Nothing, ever, nothing matters. Nothing before uh, or even after at that point matters. It's just everything's about him now and about you know your life together with your wife and creating a future. I and mean, we didn't find out. We didn't know what we were having. So I mean, just in the surprise of it all, it's just like it all hits you. Oh wow, little league, you know, and you know, and you know, and everything that's going to go along with that. And it's just, it's just a great experience. And so, do you all plan to be in the delivery room? Yes. 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 Good. Good. It's, it really is amazing to be there, Norman. Finally. April confessed to us that, uh, you know, because you guys got pregnant so soon after getting married, that it seemed a little bit soon for her. Has that been the case for you? No. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You might be the perfect man. <laughs> no, I'm not. Seriously. No. You lived up to the hype. <laughs> no, I mean, like, <clears throat> we, we met, we married pretty quick, like, after eight, nine months, and we were both kind of ready. I mean, like, you want to do the next step, and... Um, I've got two sons already, yeah. and uh, my son uh, Tommy came from uh, from Holland to uh, to New York, started living with us last June. So, I mean, no, well, you have a lot of support. Timing. Good, absolutely. Well, congratulations, Heidi. Would you agree that these husbands make the grade? These are a one husbands, <laughs> as most husbands really are during pregnancy. You know, they know the drill. Just keep on taking care of us. <laughs> all right. I like that for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you all as well. We'll see you again soon. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.